Hi, Pisces. Um, I'm going to do you guys first because, um, well, September was pretty hectic for me. So welcome to your October 2018 love read. Um, let's go ahead and get started and let's see what's in store for you guys. Um, that wanted to flip over. So everything you guys need to know is in the description box below. If you would like to book a personal. So, okay, that's, okay. So here's this and let's, whoa, 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 what's going on? Everything's falling out. Let's reshuffle. Let's get one more card. Let's get one more card. This is for Pisces. <clears throat> Their love life, October 2018. For Pisces. Okay, cool. So this one at two. All right. I don't know why they're falling out like this. When this one fell out, she flipped and fell that way. And this flipped. Fell, okay, I'll just read it on this side. So two cards wanted to come out. All right. So, okay, Pisces. Maybe um, I'm feeling like somebody, um, because the bottom of the deck here on both sides, we've got the Ten of Wands. And then over here, this is the Five of Swords. So I feel, um, Pisces, you guys might be, um, well, we'll start here with, with the Five of Swords. Now, in the original um, Rider Waite deck, the Five of Swords, they have three people in the card. Um, I could show you, I have. Um, So, but this one, to me, since there's only two people, like, see, like, how that guy's, like, looking at, you know, at, at this fucked up situation, you know, looking pretty proud of himself, but in this deck, there's only two people in this card. So, I feel, Pisces, either um, you're thinking about, like, you know, leaving a situation, um, maybe, maybe something's gotten too burdensome, um, maybe, like, these problems or whatever is going on, um, with, with who, with who you're dealing with, it's starting to become too much, um, and I feel like, I feel like this is either, and if this isn't you walking away, then it's someone that you've dealt with. I'm feeling like it's you that might have, um, cause we have two swords here on the ground. So you might've surrendered something. You might've dropped um, these burdens, these, these bonds and you're walking away from some sort of um, situation, some sort of messed up love situation. Um, and then we have the two of wands here. Um, and this guy looks very meditative. Um, it looks like he's concentrating really hard. Maybe, maybe you're um, planning something. So let's see. Oh, I'm on the wrong. Here we go. Two of. Here we go. So it says here. Yeah, it says the nobleman is holding vigil and 
in, in, in anticipation of an event or challenge to come. He is, he is dedicating himself to the highest purpose and best outcome for all concerned. If you have been paying attention only to the logistical details of your endeavor, make a point of drawing upon your higher self, however you see that, to bring spirit and meaning to the enterprise. Think more, think more about why, not just what. So, you guys are planning because wands are, are, are also about action. So um, I feel like you guys, if you haven't dropped these burdens and, and walked away um, yet, you are planning on how to do this. Maybe because the Ten of Pentacles here, maybe for, um, and we do have the Queen of Pentacles here. Which to me, you know, um, Pentacles, you know, is also about, you know, wealth, material goods. So maybe um, you just need to plan. Um, maybe you need to get some finances in order or um, maybe you need to set up, you know, something, something solid, some sort of solid foundation maybe before you can um, maybe drop this person, drop this situation whatever this may be, but you guys are thinking, you guys are planning. Um, and then, you know, we have the Queen of Pentacles here, but her back is turned. So this to me um, is symbolizing that you are, um, you are ready to walk away and drop these burdens. Maybe you were trying to um, fix a situation with somebody and um maybe it's it just hasn't been working out you guys might not be able to to reconcile your differences maybe so i feel like um you are planning and you're ready to move on and look elsewhere um very interesting because all three of these cards, someone's back is turned. So I feel like you're looking for like a new start, a new, a new cycle. You're wanting to begin something anew, but um, let's see here. So for the Queen of Pentacles, um, <clears throat> says here, from her garden, the queen looks toward the great castle city that is her realm. Her throne, which looks weathered and ancient from the front, looks battered and neglected from the back. A broken column has been hidden away behind the throne and a hare takes shelter there. In her innermost self, the queen is a bit overwhelmed by all the things she has welcomed into her care. It is her nature to be generous, and she knows that help given grudgingly is a burden, not a gift. But her own support system can, can be weakened, even broken, if she doesn't nourish herself as well as others. Yeah, so maybe um, you were very generous to this person um could you know generous emotionally um financially maybe even for some of you um and maybe pisces maybe you guys were um giving too much into this person and into this situation and maybe you weren't giving enough back to yourself um maybe you feel like you don't have um like a support system or like anyone um to confide in right now or may maybe you feel like um there is no support um from your partner or um or whoever uh this person is your, your love interest here um and again um you know the ten of wands is um is is a burden this is a um an overwhelming energy and you guys might be feeling way too overwhelmed with um with with these cards here 
um, you know, swords are also um, about communication. So I feel like um, there was probably a lot of arguments, a lot of dif disagreements. And oh yeah, look, and then underneath that, you have the strength card. So you guys have really um, been pulling on, um, because when, when, when the queen is in this position, this also signifies her inner self. So I feel like you guys have been really pulling um, on your inner strength, or you, um, you, you will have to be um, pulling from your inner strength a lot this month in October. Um, and the devil is here in the background. So um, these problems are looming over you. Um, you know, you, you are feeling overwhelmed, but the devil can't really do anything here. You know, they're, they're, both, they're both staring him down. He's not really doing anything but lurking, you know? You are stronger. Than, than these burdens. You might not feel that way, but you're a lot stronger than, um, than you seem, Pisces. Yeah, look, and then after that, you have the Three of Cups, a celebration. So something, something good is coming your way. Or... Maybe there was a third party, but I'm not feeling that for all of you guys, but we'll see. So then we go moving more into like the future towards like the end of like October-ish. Um, you have the world card and the 10 of pentacles. So the world's. Yeah, because this, when when she's in this position, this is all about um, a new cycle, completions. But this is, um, you're feeling like something's not complete. And it could be regarding um, the foundation, maybe your home life, material aspects. Um, but you're not feeling a sense of completion um, probably because you guys couldn't really get down to the bottom of, um, you know, these arguments, these disagreements, this fighting, uh, these burdens. So that, you know, that, that does make sense. But just know that everything is happening. Everything is playing out how it's meant to. So, you know, try try not to stress too much, Pisces, because the Ten of Pentacles is a wonderful card. A wonderful, wonderful card. And I'll I'll read to you. But you know, the, the Ten of Pentacles, this is um, you know, the um the happy home life, you know? This is a stable uh, foundation. Yeah, you're feeling like something's not complete when it comes to um, to your foundation in this relationship. Let's see, let's see, let's see what it says. Here we go. It says the tower, right here, there's a tower. The tower in the distance might be the same one seen in the previous card. I don't know what they're saying. And this young couple might be the two people from that card. Oh, they're talking about the tower card. Having found their way to each other, the message here is to leave whatever tower you've constructed for yourself or let yourself be entrapped within. Be assured that what awaits you outside will reward you a thousand times over. So whatever this is, I feel like, I mean, you guys know what this is. Um, whatever, you know, this energy, whatever you're planning, I feel like you guys want this. 
you know, you, you, you want love. You want to be with someone. You want um, your pentacles. You want to stack your coins up. You want to save. You want um, a solid foundation. You want a home. You're just, you know, you're, you're, you're wanting it all, I feel. Whether, um, you know, it could be with this person, but, or could be someone new, maybe, perhaps, maybe, you know, you're, you're, you're planning and you're going to drop the burdens, you're going to move away from the bullshit this is you knowing that um, the foundation here with the person that you're dealing with or that you walked away from, what, you know, whatever this is, you're just not feeling happy. You're not feeling complete. And you're wanting to move on to something more stable, I feel. And it is going to take strength. So... Let's pull some more cards. Um, let's do, where are we at, 16 minutes? Let me grab this book because I'm gonna, um, we're gonna do astrology reading cards. So it's broken down into three different, it's uh, the planet cards, the house cards, and the zodiac sign cards. So, um, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so it says here the planet cards represent the part of your personality, the part of your personality engaged in the question or issue, the part of you that is activated or effective. So let's let's do two cards. Um, I know what we could do. So, what part of Pisces' personality is affected? What part of their personality is affected by this, this, this love situation? Jupiter, your confidence, courage, self-belief, and luck. So, let's read. So, maybe you feel like... Um, your confidence really took um, a blow here because maybe, um, you know, maybe maybe you feel like, I don't really want to say a failure, but like, you know, like may maybe you're kind of beating yourself up because you feel like you couldn't make this work because it feels like, you know, like something's not complete. You might be feeling very unlucky right now. Maybe um, you're feeling like you don't have any courage to really um, stand up and like work on the situation anymore. Um, but let's let's read. Where's um, what page is Jupiter on? Here we go. <clears throat> um. Yeah, it says your guardian angel is protecting you and filling you with faith, vision, and intuition. So definitely, um, you know, listen to your intuition. It says you may dare to leap beyond your normal boundaries, forget any worries, and just know that everything will turn out well. This is the part of you that shrugs off or turns a deaf ear to the warnings of others. You will feel you will feel irritation at any limits or boundaries that your body or mind impose on you now, since you want to grow with the freedom to soar like an eagle into higher breathtaking expansion, taking imaginative leaps to allow wonder and magic in. So you might have wanted to grow and expand this relationship with this person. But now you might be focusing on 
growing and expanding maybe when it comes to your home life, your foundations, your money, your coins. You might be choosing, you know, to focus maybe your energy elsewhere for the time being, maybe to distract you from um, from from the situation that that you're dealing with. Here we go. It says, material prosperity is often a matter of how rich you will allow yourself to become. Since we can unconsciously limit ourselves by not wanting to be greedy or believing that we are not worth more. Your lucky streak is now activated. So think rich and abundant. And Jupiter is also about um, travel traveling so maybe um and so is the world card so somebody's traveling maybe you're going on like a trip or a vacation or somebody's traveling to you or you're traveling to somebody maybe some of you guys are moving in october um you know just take that if it resonates just beware um of any like um like arrogance, um, any overconsumption, like overspending, beware of um, maybe like overeating or like drinking too much. Uh, yeah, and if you guys don't really know what your Jupiter sign is you guys can definitely like look up um like go on Google and like figure out like your whole chart and stuff but I would definitely if you don't know find out what your Jupiter sign is and um there's definitely like other readers out there on YouTube too that um that will read for like um other signs like Jupiter signs and Venus signs and stuff like that um, or, you know, you could just watch 